Hello, good morning or good afternoon. I'm Gerald. I manage the new business sales team from Parallels, focused on remote application server. Today, we're going to spend some 30 minutes together to discuss our Parallels service provider program. We're going to start in around a couple of minutes. I can see a lot of people are still connecting their audio. The idea of today's call, as I mentioned, is to focus on our service provider program. We're going to show you a little bit of an overview of the technology, of the components, of what we launched in version 18 last month. And at the end, we're going to have a Q&A session where basically I'll encourage you to put any questions in the Q&A section or the chat. At the end of this presentation, I'm going to try to answer all the questions that we get. In the next few days, one of our account managers will be in contact with you to see if you have any more queries, if you want to see an actual demonstration of the technology with one of our engineers, and to guide you more throughout our service provider program. I'm gonna give it an extra minute. Hope you can actually hear me very well. Very good, very good. So I believe we can start. For those people who just joined us in the last few seconds, I'm Gerald. I'm going to guide you a little bit to our service provider program today. In the next few days, one of our account managers will be reaching you to see if you need more information, you want to see a demonstration of the product. But if you have any questions, please use our Q&A session or the chat. You can put in your questions. With the best of my abilities, I'll try to answer them all. If I'm not able to answer, one of our engineers or the account manager will be in touch to give you more information about that. So, for those who never heard of Parallels before, a little bit of an intro. We've been in business since the year 2000. I think our presence by now is quite global, available in 140 countries. Our business is purely channel-based. When it comes to global trust, we have 20% of the Fortune 500 with more than 7 million customers already Parallels customers, and with more than 50,000 businesses who already chose Parallels as their service provider. If we had to look a little bit up at our portfolio, the focus of today's session is around remote application server. In reality, in our portfolio, and even uh, what we're the most famous for is the Parallels desktop for Mac, where we created the level two hypervisor some 21 years ago, where you could run Windows in parallel to your Mac. And over the years, we developed some other technologies like Parallels Access, the Mac management via CCM. Late last year, uh, we de developed the Parallels desktop also for Chrome and also a toolbox for both Windows and Mac, which can help you increase your productivity. But as I mentioned, the focus of today is with remote application server. As I mentioned in the beginning, we are purely channel based. And one of the things that we've noticed is that there was a huge rise on how users are wanting to access digital workspaces. So we've launched in 2016 our parallel service provider program. Since then, we have to admit it was quite of a success. Obviously, what happened in the last one year now with all the pandemic and so on, we've seen a huge increase of customers looking for as a service solutions. So we wanted to give our partners the right tool to help them boost their margin to apps and new services but also to secure their data and their customers' data, which is quite important. So according to an ASG uh, survey, which was done earlier this year, we've seen a huge influx of organizations who already deploy the VDI solution. Four out of 10 of those customers who deploy those VDI solutions, they're looking to have a more aggressive expansion plan, which basically means they're going for a full 100% VDI delivery for their users. Obviously, as I mentioned before, with COVID-19, there was a huge boom in this and the requirements started increasing on a day-to-day -day basis. 79% of the respondents looked at the VDI delivery to help them provide more security compared to the desktop delivery models. And two out of three decided that their VDI and desktop as a service project was a success. 
And the next few slides, I have some information how we can make sure that your project is a success as well. Another 65% of the respondents already looked at a hyper-conversion infrastructure. The idea would be that customers and our partners would like to focus more on delivering applications and desktop to their users, not about managing the infrastructure itself. As I mentioned before, this year we've seen a huge raise in the needs of having application as a service, desktop as a service, you know, having that application on, on the go, literally. You don't have to worry about what type of device you're actually using. If it's a mobile device, if it's your workstation, you know, you don't have any worry at all. You're providing a better service delivery. In terms of productivity, having your application literally following you wherever you are, you just need an internet connection, will help you also increase your users' productivity as well. As we've seen, as, as it goes along, there was a huge adoption of cloud technologies as well. And we've seen WVD, Azure, Rexspace, a lot of players putting cloud technologies out there which is helping our pro service providers also lowering their costs from spending that capital expenditure on new infrastructure, on managing them, but also help them mitigate risk because everything is a little bit more controllable for them. And that was we we're going to focus a little bit in the next few minutes together. Basically, we want to help you have a transformation to as a service model in four key points, a product which provides high value, very simple to administer, manage, and maintain on a day-to-day -day basis, something which is secure, and very importantly, the cost-effective. Obviously, you've seen a lot of our customers seeing a lot of uh, loss of profitability this year. So the cost element is something which is quite crucial, and we want to provide a solution which will provide all the advantages I mentioned before, high value, simple, and security in a very cost-effective way. However, as you recall in the previous slides, not all projects are a success. As in, we've seen this year that a lot of entities started looking for more complex situations where users are using, for example, mobile devices. And obviously this retracted some, for example, security issues. How can you make sure that if a user, for example, is working on his device, that data is still secure? So the complexity started growing on a day-to-day -day basis, but in reality, our IT budgets are reduced on a day-to-day -day basis. We need to see how the best way how to optimize that budget. Something which is quite important is obviously from an application delivery perspective. You know, some of the applications we have are not built to work on modern devices. I mentioned the mobile before. How many of our applications, work applications, our customers' applications are able to work on an Android device, on an iOS device? And if that application cannot be delivered to those devices, what needs to be done? Do we need to rewrite them? Do we need to recode them? How much time does it it's going to take us? And obviously, what's the cost associated with that? The fifth element, and typically it was one of the main issues when you look at the VDI solution, is the poor user and client experience. You know, as in you have to think about, okay, what the user is going to use in terms of device? Will my application, will my desktop operate perfectly in that operating system? Will they work finally as they're working on a local machine? You know, and all these five components determine if a project is successful or not. And that's why a lot of customers have started opting for a, a different type of delivery, not having their on-prem solution. They're starting to have application as a service, desktop as a service, having that workspace as a service coming to you. And they always look at the delivery type. So if they're using a Windows, a Mac, an Android, how are they going to access those applications? If they want to get that application delivered in an HTML5 browser, we can help you do that. From a security perspective, you know the benefits that some clouds also provide. It will help you secure your data because it's every, everything centrally located and you have full control on that. And very importantly, you mentioned the cost element before. We're going to help you reduce the total cost of ownership. You don't have to think about any capex expenditures. It can grow literally according to your needs. So we are providing you here a solution driven by managed services and it's we're helping you enable those application and desktop delivery from a solution perspective and why we in, implemented our service provider program some years back we had five things in mind how can we help you extend your customer value obviously traditionally we used to deliver projects uh, you get hardware you get the software 
and, and that's it. There will be an element of support, but we're not extending, you know, that collaboration with that customer. With the service provider program, we're helping you to provide new end user services. You can provide simplified IT functions in a recurring way, which basically to also encourage repeat purchases. From a user experience perspective, for those customers where they work with Parallels, the product is extremely intuitive. The experience is optimized to work on any device. And even I mentioned the mobile element before, we're providing the best in class mobile experience. So your end users will be connecting to your setup. They're gonna benefit from a superior user experience. From an admin perspective, the product is very easy to use, configure and maintain. So we have a number of tools in also including the solution, considering service providers. When we think about multi-tenancy, uh, tools for automation, auto-provisioning and auto-scaling. Our solution is multi-cloud ready. And the next few slides, I can, I can give you different ways uh, how our solution can be installed as well. We are hypervisor agnostic. So we're gonna give you one tool, which is easy to install, manage on a day-to-day -day basis, but gives you all that flexibility needed from a business perspective. And as I mentioned, we're going away from having, you know, one-off projects. We want you to help increase monthly recurring revenue. You're gonna increase your portfolio. You can start offering applications as a service, desktop as a service, managed VDIs, you know, and having such a solution will help you also upsell in a much quicker uh, situation as well. Basically, it's a win-win business model, which is a pay-as-you-go. It's extremely cost-effective and it's quite predictable as well. We're helping you having high margins while reducing the total cost of ownership for your end customers. So our service provider programs is focused on two different types of service providers. Those which we call the CSPs, or the managed service providers that with our solution, they can add new delivery, new services to their customers. You know, we've seen a lot of our uh, partners who are complaining that they wouldn't have a technology to fight other MSPs who started offering the software as a service, for example. The license model is helping you on that aspect. It's literally on a pay-as-you-go model. So the more users you're gonna have, the more savings you're gonna have. From a commercial perspective, when you think about other competitors out there, we're going to save you between 40 to 60%. So even for those customers coming from other technologies, already you're providing a service provider, pro, uh, service provider ability to their users, we're going to save you some money, which in return which will also provide you with uh, improved profitability, which is quite important. The second type of uh, service providers who can access our service provider program are ISV. So customers who are developing their own software that through our solution, they can transform their legacy application to as a software as a service model. You know, it can help them even fight, for example, those customers or new competitors who are delivering their applications cloud-based already. Basically what we're saying here is that with a click of a button, your legacy application can be delivered from a cloud as a service to their users. And obviously, coming a little bit also in line, the mobile availability that through our clients, the Windows, the Mac, the Linux, Android, and iOS, you can also deliver those applications to a mobile device in a question of seconds. Similarly, as the service providers, customers coming from different competitors, we're gonna save you some money. And the idea behind the service provider for AS program for the ISVs is very simple. We're gonna help you to add managed services and add new revenue stream from existing perpetual client because you can put them on a service model. The values of the service provider program are very simple. We're gonna help you keep up with the high client demand. We're gonna provide you with new revenue at a very high profit with a very fast time to value, something quite important for us. You're gonna help you retain clients, you know, those customers who have thought to look at other technologies because the type of delivery you're gonna have is in the old way with a perpetual model, maybe project-based, but it will also help you find new clients, you know, which more in this time of the, uh, in the situation that we have now, they're looking to increase, uh, decrease their CapEx, but increase their OpEx, but also no barriers at all. There is a no commitment situation. Basically with Parallels, we're providing you with a framework to succeed. So we're gonna give you a high value solution that it's easy to use, manage and maintain. 
from a licensing perspective. It's extremely cost effective license model. And it's very, there is a simplified billing management. And the next few slides, I have some more information how this operates as well. Very importantly, we also provide a comprehensive partner program and support, as in we believe that if our partners succeed, we succeed as well. And it's a pure partnership. We give you all the tools, all the support needed so you can be successful in the projects and deliveries that you're actually doing with your users. For those who joined us today who never heard of Parallels or haven't seen it uh, before, so we have only one type of license, one type of level. And those customers who are going for, for our service provider program will benefit from the same product. So from a delivery perspective, you can deliver in different ways, being application publishing, desktop publishing, VDI, and also remote PC. So we're going to provide you with three delivery methods. Applications and Windows desktops can be delivered to any device. You just need an internet connection. There is a multi-tenancy, a high availability and load balancing, and the reporting and billing tool included there. And all these components are delivered in a very simple way. It's a single pane of glass centralized management. Uh, it's literally one console to manage all different components. No skills, special skills are needed or training. We still provide partner training of our technology, but the idea is that even a basic IT administrator can install and manage our solution. We also provide auto provisioning and auto scaling rules uh, tools for RDSH and VDI. From a flexibility perspective, the solution is totally hypervisor agnostic. So we support ESXi, uh, Hyper-V, Nutanix Acropolis, uh, Scales hypervisor, Azure hypervisor. It gives you full flexibility there. From a delivery perspective, as I, we mentioned above, we're going to provide you with two delivery methods you know, for Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, iOS, and Chrome. But if you cannot push that client out, which is just a 30 meg, you can deliver it to an HTML5 browser in a question of seconds. From an installation perspective, it has the best out of both worlds. So you can have an on-prem, you can have a full on the cloud, hybrid, public cloud, multi-cloud, full flexibility. This is, has comes with the concept that you know you can develop the solution now, but it can move according to your business needs as well. From a feature perspective, uh, the product is quite feature rich and secure. We integrate with MFA solutions in a you know very simple way and easy to set up as well. We have universal printing and scanning, and this is something which is quite at heart for us because we took a strategy in 2006 that any printer that didn't work even at POC stage, we fixed it. You know so. We are helping you deliver applications or desktops to your users, but they can also print, becomes a full workstation for them. REST and PowerShell APIs, multi-tenancy, and an ultra-fast login and SAML single sign-on uh, tool, including the solution. From a commercial perspective, all our licenses include 24 by 7 support and maintenance. Our high availability and load balancer is also included in the solution. And unlike other technologies, you don't need any SQL database here. Centralized and monitoring and reporting and billing tool and an automated SPLA licensing model. So all these components here are all including that license, which is for a service providers, basically giving you all the tools you need for the different type of deliveries for the different type of customers in a very simple way how to manage. As I mentioned before, we give you a lot of flexibility. We're helping you on that guided shift to the cloud. So if you have, for example, a solution, which is uh, our service, which is purely from an on-prem perspective, so it's in your private cloud, you can put it in a public cloud with, this, with the same license. You can have a hybrid way. You can go with a hyper-converged deployment. You have all the different flexibility for all the different needs that you might have. And I would like to highlight this point because it's with service providers, sometimes you, you need to have a little bit of flexibility as well. Sometimes you have customers who, whose end users are in, a, in different regions. While your private cloud is quite strong, for example, in a particular region, in another continent, you might suffer, you know, because of uh, latencies and so on. You can have, I'm talking about extremes, your setup on-prem, 
you can have a server, for example, or a couple of servers on Asia in a particular continent, uh, another couple of servers on AWS in another continent, continent, full flexibility, literally, based on the business needs that you might have. So from a remote application server perspective, we give you a number of benefits. Obviously, the super user experience on any device anywhere. From a data security perspective, the agility, as we mentioned before, because you can, it can move basically for any circumstance to what the customer needs. As a product is very easy to deploy, configure, and maintain. And commercially, we're going to save you some money. One of the most things that we've noticed in the last year was the increase, obviously, of remote working where we've seen a number of end users looking for more mobility. They want to access the tools, even while they're not physically at the office at the moment. Some applications, you know, some line of business applications are needed to work on any platform or through a web browser. The need of having a virtual desktop running with you literally on any device and productivity, because obviously you would need all these type of deliveries in order to be productive. And with remote application server, we're going to have these end users with all these different use cases when it comes to remote working. So basically what we're saying is that we're going to help all your customers and the different type of needs that they have. So they can have remote working even on mobile devices. They can deliver Windows applications even on Chromebooks, just to give another example. And we've seen a huge increase in Chrome even in uh, the the business market as well. So while it was super strong before in education only, we've seen a lot of organizations looking at our technologies to deliver Windows applications and Windows desktop also to Chrome. Uh, there is a huge focus also on the security element. You know, you've seen a lot of customers going with VPN and then from a control perspective, they cannot, for example, control what the user can do with a simple copy and paste or saving drives uh, files locally on their local machines. So Although a VPN is very secure, there are some gaps which our solution can help you with. And through our policies, you can limit the access based on literally the user, the group, the locations, the device. Something which this year uh, we've seen quite a huge uh, interest as well, although it's in its 16th year. Now it's our remote PC functionality where you can work home from, for example, your local workstation at the office. And how this works is very simple. It's also including the solution and the same license where you push a small agent on that workstation. And that workstation is available to you in your workspace as a virtual desktop. So basically why all the computers have a link on your work uh, desktop or your lab desktop, you're accessing it via your client at your, on your, at your home, from your own machine, maybe your Android, iOS, you know, your Windows machine or in an HTML5 browser, but you're actually accessing your work PC. And as I mentioned before, you can actually work remotely also from your personal devices. One of the biggest shifts that we've seen last year, though, was our version 18. And our version 18, we had a number of new features in the technology, but we also focused quite a lot on the integration with WVD. And the idea is literally to have the best out of both worlds, where you're extending the VDI capabilities with a seamless integration with WVD. So if, for example, you're using WVD as a service, uh, you can also deliver, for example, legacy applications from your on-prem. We're supporting that Windows 10 enterprise multi-session ability. This will also help you if you have, for example, customers with Windows 7 security updates. We're supporting that element of hybrid and multi-cloud deployments, where basically we're going to give you a setup where you can deliver WVD from Azure, but then having, for example, legacy applications or different applications delivered from your own data center. It's a hybrid setup where it helps you deliver those specialized workloads based on the different needs. And from a remote application server perspective, we'll still support up to Windows Server 2008. And why I'm mentioning this is very simple because in the same setup with the same console, now you can manage your on-prem setup, for example, which has a Windows Server 2008, Windows Server 2012, 16, and 19. You can manage your WVD setup, and the users wouldn't realize from where they're getting their applications, their desktop. It's a true workspace. We mentioned the end users. 
think one of the things that we're the most proud of is our and uh, our clients. Or as I mentioned before, we have the Windows, the Mac, the Linux, Android, and iOS clients. And our mobile clients are really the best in the market, best in class at the moment. And the reason why they're best in class, we have five key features which put us uh, above the rest. First of all, we have the bidirectional audio, the quick keypad, where you can basically configure shortcuts. So as soon as the end users uh, do a particular shortcut on their end user device, it can be redirected to the servers. And we're not talking about the simple control V, control V here. You can actually configure new shortcuts yourself. The accelerated file retrieval, uh, this is typically for more, those customers who have, for example, folders with thousands of files. And as soon as you need to get information from those local files, it's got, it used to take a lot of time to load it up. The use of, the use of native gestures, you know, when you're an Android and iOS client, how you zoom in, zoom out. You can still make use of those gestures while managing your Windows application desktop. Drag and drop functionalities, ultra fast login, multitasking abilities, the support of Bluetooth mouse and trackpad, the printing and scanning that we mentioned before, and single sign on. So a user will have only one username and password logging in, and he's going to get access to all the systems allowed to him. And to end that, obviously, from a security perspective, because everything is centrally located, it's easier to secure, it's easier to monitor, control, and restrict. The policies, which I didn't spend too much time on it today, it gives you all that power needed to control the users, what they can do. We mentioned the copy and paste, but there can be local driver direction ability, uh, the ability to print. You can determine what functionalities, what policies are assigned for every user. Support of encryption protocols, but also support of MFA and smart card authentication. Basically, we're providing you with one solution for the different needs. So you can mix and match different operating systems, as we mentioned before. We are multi cloud ready, so on prem, fully cloud, hybrid, but also multi cloud discovered. Through our high availability and load balancing, good solution, we're providing that business continuity. From a delivery perspective, you know, we provide three delivery methods, RDSH, Sage, VDI, but also remote PC. And finally, for those on-prem situations, we are also hypervisor agnostic, which in reality, even here, you can mix and match even hypervisors. So if, for example, at the moment you are on a Hyper-V, and in the next few months you want to go on an ASXI, you can have both hypervisors connected at the same time with remote application server. So this gives you some more time to move from one technology to another based on your own pace. All the features we mentioned before are managed from one single centralized management console. That's very important for us. You know, we want to make everything very simple, but we want to make it as simple as possible also for our admins out there. From a commercial perspective, we have one single type of license. So all the components that we mentioned before and they're in this slide, they're all available to all our service providers. Obviously, you have 24 by 7 support as well, but also maintenance. And our roadmap for the product is quite incredible. In the next few months, you're going to have even more features added to this list. As a service provider, you're going to be entitled for those new features as well. From a licensing perspective, we provide one service provider license key for every service provider. The idea behind our solution is quite simple. For SPLA licenses, only those service providers who are properly offering a service to their users. So if, for example, your customer has somehow access to that system, to that Windows server, to the remote application server console, this PLA licensing is not applicable. In that case, a, a partner has to apply for a subscription license. This PLA license can be deployed in different types. So it's a hosted, cloud, on-prem, a hybrid. It's not a problem. The important thing is that you're offering a service to your users. From a billing perspective, it's all based on a peak on current user model. So basically, we'll analyze all the individual farms, we will summarize them all together, and we're going to bill you at the end of the month, or actually in the beginning of the following month, based on the peak on current usage from every individual farm. So that's blocky, differently from how we operate with subscription, can be activated on multiple farms at the same time. As soon as you become a service provider, you're going to be given a billing portal or what you call the parallels my account. 
through the My Account. You can actually have full control of what's happening with Turkey. You find the different users from different periods. You can find an individual usage of every specific farm. You can rename, you can find historical data, which is quite good for the service providers because it gives them that idea of the expected growth as well. You can actually even deactivate licenses as you need. And all of this is included in that billing portal. From a licensing perspective, we have only one type of license I mentioned before. The beauty of it is that the pricing moves based on the tiers that you are in. So as we sum up the all amount of users you get in a particular month, you'll go in the right tier. The model that I'm mentioning here is a no minimum commitment model. In reality, we also have prepayment options, which is going to save you a, a little bit of good money. Here's 24 by 7 support and maintenance included and all the functionalities and features that we mentioned before. So the application publishing, desktop publishing, VDI, remote PC, all the clients, HTML5, high availability, load balancing and reporting are all included there. So you want to become a service provider program is very simple. So you just go on our website. I have a slide in the next few minutes on where to register as well. There is no upfront fees or cost to join. There is no minimum usage commitment. You go on our website. You need an application form, which is a, has to be approved from your account manager. You need to have a current membership with a Microsoft CSP program. You need to have two technical people certified, and you're going to have an annual partner profile within the partner portal available. So, as you see, to become a service provider with Parallels is very, very simple. And we provide you with some more benefits. So, first of all, we're going to provide you with a dedicated channel account manager, a solution, as we mentioned throughout this presentation, which is scalable based on your business needs. It's extremely customizable. So, even if you have different needs, as we, before I mentioned, the extreme of having an on prem, uh, something on AWS, something on Azure, it doesn't matter at all. Fully customizable, a simple usage based plus license model. We're going to provide you with free online training and certification. So through our partner portal, uh, through a monthly instructor-led training. Unfortunately, at this time, we cannot do uh, live training anymore. But hopefully, in the next few months, that will be re-enabled as well. And you're going to get also a not-for-resale key, so you can test as well. As in, as you see, you know, our partnership, we take it quite seriously. Before I mentioned our roadmap, one of the things that our service providers benefit from as well is that as soon as we get a new version of our solution, our customers get a beta release, or our service provider providers get a beta release of the upcoming uh, build that's going to be launched. The reason why we do this is very simple. If you're an ISV, if you're a service provider, you want to make sure that the new build will work on your requirements. So we're going to give you a number of weeks so you can test out the new builds, give us feedback to see if everything works well. So as soon as that new version is launched, you're covered and it can go in production immediately. As I mentioned, if you need more information, you can email us at psp at parallels.com. You can email me directly at gs at parallels.com as well. So that is gs at parallels.com. To register, you just go on our website. It's very easy to register. You know, you just fill in a form and our account managers will be in touch quite quickly as well. And now, as I mentioned in the beginning, we have a Q&A session. I've already seen a number of questions, our Q&A and chats. If you have any more questions, please feel free to write them down. I'll try to answer as much as possible. As I mentioned, in the next few days, our account managers will also be in touch. They will see if you have any more queries, if you want to see a technical demonstration of the technology and discuss how we can help you even further. So I'm going to stop sharing a little bit and go into the questions part. So for the first question we have is about the protocol that we use. We make use of the RDP protocol. Uh, so one of the biggest advantages we had is that even from a protocol perspective, we use the RDP protocol. And uh, one of the feedbacks that we get also is that the RTP protocol is advancing literally with every build of Windows Server. Okay, the next question I see in our Q&A is around our, around the remote PC functionality. 
So the remote PC functionality is also a feature which is included in the license. And this gives you the flexibility or the possibility to push a small agent on a local workstation. So imagine you have your workstation at the office. And as soon as that agent is pushed on that workstation, you can find your desktop available in your workspace. So you can basically work and do your compute on your work PC while in the comfort of your home. As in, we've seen a number of customers, for example, uh, using our technology instead of moving PCs, for example. So the next question is around if Windows included instances from cloud uh, IaaS like Amazon, Google, and Azure, why is Pell licensing is required for service provider program? So the service provider program from Parallels is when you want to benefit from the Parallels features that we mentioned in this slide. Uh, but what I'll do uh, today, I'm not sure I understood the question. Uh, I'll ask one of our account managers to be in touch to see how we can help you even further on that question. So basically, the service provider program is covering Parallels Rust licenses. So if you want to benefit all the, with all, from all the features that we provide as Parallels, we can help you. And that service provider program, if you're a service provider, will help you uh, deliver those features to your users as well. The next question I have is around the clients and what clients we provide. So we provide clients for Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, and iOS. In reality, with our web, so the HTML5 delivery, you can deliver any Windows application, any Windows desktop, even a remote PC, what we mentioned before, to any device. You just need, you know, an HTML5 browser, so Safari, Chrome, Edge, Firefox, and you can access that application quite easily. Okay, I don't see any more questions. Very good. So from my side, I thank you for your time. As I mentioned before, in the next few days, our account managers will be in touch to see the product. If you have any more queries, you need any further qualifications. Meanwhile, I wish you all to be very well. Thanks for your time and keep well.